up for sale now vehicle max we have a beautiful 2008 cadillac escalade all-wheel drive short wheel base short wheel base it just means that it's not the esv it's not the long one black on the outside with beige leather interior loaded up with factory 22 inch chrome wheels factory navigation color backup camera factory power moonroof heated seats cool seats power tailgate and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. <clears throat> it has a clean title and also qualifies for Carfax's buyback guarantee as well as for an extended warranty. <clears throat> We're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida. 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5 and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the homepage is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. All right. Um, one of the many options in this vehicle is remote start and the power tailgate. Let's start off with the power tailgate. You can open the power tailgate three different ways by pressing the remote control switch, by pressing the switch in the uh, center console, or by simply squeezing the tailgate as long as the vehicle is unlocked. So we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, press it here, hold, just for about a second, and then the tail lights will flash, and uh, it opens up. Now to close it, there are three different ways to close it. From the remote controllers I just showed you, by pressing the switch here on the edge of the tailgate, or by pressing the switch on the inside of the car. <clears throat> All right, now I'm going to show you the remote start. For the remote start, the vehicle has to be locked, so let's lock it. You're going to press and hold this little circle here. And the car starts right up. This is a really neat feature, especially in the uh, winter when it's nice and cold outside. As long as you had the heater on when you last left the vehicle, when the car comes on, so will the heater. And when it reaches enough temperature, it'll warm up the car for you. The opposite in the, in the summer, as long as you had the air conditioning on when you last left the vehicle. When the car comes on, so will the AC, and when um, and, uh, it'll cool down the car for you. When you're ready to drive off, just unlock the vehicle, put the key in the ignition, open the switch, and you're ready to drive off. If you change your mind and want to turn it off, just press the little circle. All right, let's get inside of the car, show you the interior options. <clears throat> All right, the door panels are beige with the wood trimming. Of course, we got power windows, power door locks, cruise control to a wheel. Got memory seats for up to two drivers. Okay. Got uh, dual power seat, power recliner, and lumbar support. You got curtain side airbags up in the front post here, the middle post, and there's another one on this post right over here. <clears throat> got automatic headlights that come on at sunset and come off at sunrise. A manual tilt wheel. Uh, leather seats, which are solid on the outside and perforated in the center for the AC, for the cooling of the seats. Before I sit down, let me pan over the seating area now so you can see it's in great shape. Without any cuts, tears, or burn holes. Matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, set liner, or carpeting. And there's no odor of smoke, so it looks like the previous owner may have been a non-smoker. All right. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get it started. Alright, let's start off with the power moonroof so we can get a little bit of lighting for the video. It is a glass moonroof, it is tinted, but also has a hard cover that blocks out the sun completely. Alright, um, this switch over here is just a vent. I'm going to see if I can close up so you can see. What that does is it makes it tilt in the back just for ventilation. This one here is to open up. And it's a one touch. You don't have to hold a switch for the moonroof to open. Okay. I will leave it there for now. All right, this one here is your power tailgate switch I was telling you about here. To open and close, you press it here. Uh, and then if you press on the off, it, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to uh, disable it temporarily so it's only going to open manually. This here is for your middle row uh, tumbling seats for your buckets. And let me show you that. Let me put the camera over my shoulder here and uh, show you how that works. <coughs> All right, and that's to gain nice and easy access to the third row. Both of the middle row buckets have that action. All right, let's start off uh, <clears throat> from the bottom here. You had your power adjustable pedal option. This is for your rear windshield wiper. Um, 
you got let's turn on the AC here and put it nice and low so you can hear me talk all right um you got also dual climate control I just put the passenger side at 65 while the driver's side is at 60 and it's automatic meaning it maintains the temperature they just set it at you also got the cooling and heating seat option this is to cool it this one's to heat the backrest only this one here is to heat the entire seat and once you turn it on it's going to display right here so let's turn on the cooling option right off the bat it goes to high if you press it again it'll go, it'll go to medium speed one more time for low and one more time for off all right um and of course you got the same thing on the passenger side here all right um let's uh put the navigation here all right there's your navigation screen if you put the vehicle in reverse you're going to get the color backup camera and that along with the parking sensors which you can see flashing there now i'm actually going to back up to the vehicle a little bit so you can see how the parking sensors work There's also a display over my shoulder. I doubt you could see it, but it's a little yellow light in that corner post there. And it, there is two yellow lights over there. <clears throat> First you get a one, then the second yellow light, and then you'll get a red light. Then, uh, now the second light is on back there. Like I said, you're probably not going to be able to see it. There's two lights there now, one, both yellow. If you go a little further back, when you get very close, now you get a... Uh, the red flashing icon and now you get back there two yellows and a red and we can actually it's so accurate we can go actually a little further so let's do that all right and that's when it tells you you're about to hit it not only is it flashing but it gets bigger and also makes a, a chiming sound here all right so let's uh put the car back in park all right now let's uh, take a look at them what other options we have here all right this is what um actually let's let's uh, let's do the stereo portion of it first all right right now we got a where the stereo is on by the way you have the bose stereo sound system to raise the volume you do it here lower the volume here mute it here okay these buttons here are to navigate about your preset stations those are the ones that you set here yourself which of course can be changed all right uh, this button here um, is your source button which helps you navigate from AM to FM to XM and yes it does have XM capability although right now it's on preview mode because you have to sign up for a subscription this one here is your seek button takes it to the next available station and um, um, if you press and hold down the mute button it, it accesses your uh, voice commands okay <clears throat> On the left hand side of the steering wheel, you got um, your cruise control and also a steering wheel heated option here. Uh, let's see what else. Okay, the vehicle has 92,898 miles. And uh, the car is running right now. Keep an eye on the tachometer. I'm going to rev the engine. 6.2 liter V8. And the reason I'm doing that is just so you can see that the car is running and idling perfectly and that there are no check engine light on, no airbag light, no service engine soon, no maintenance due, nothing like that. The only light that you see on there, that green light, is uh, General Motors daytime driving lights. All right, uh, <clears throat> let's see what else here. Uh, okay, and the shifter column. At the end of the shifter column, you got your towing haul mode option. When you press that, a little yellow wagon is going to light up over here by your speedometer to let you know that you're in the towing haul motion, um, uh, the towing haul mode, which makes the... Um, Transmission shift a little differently in order to um, ex uh, adjust for the extra cargo load and disables the overdrive. When you're done towing, just press it again. The little yellow wagon goes away and you're back into normal shifting. Now you also got a manual shifting mode. You'll notice a plus and minus on the lever. Let me see if I can show you that. Right now we are in park, reverse, neutral, drive, and that's how you're going to drive it 99% of the time. But if you want to make it shift manually, you go down to them and then you, you see that you're now in manual shift gear number one. If you tap on the plus, it shifts up. Every time you tap it, it's just one gear, all the way up to six as this is a six-speed automatic transmission. And when you tap in the minus, it downshifts. Nothing's happening now because we're not moving, but if we were, you'd be controlling the transmission. All right. <clears throat> all right. Um, on the uh, upper uh, right hand, okay, you got an auto dimming rear view mirror that has a sensor up here that senses bright light. So if somebody puts their high beams on you, it will darken the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision. 
On the upper right hand corner of the mirror you got the outside temperature and a compass. This vehicle is equipped with the OnStar system. If you purchase this vehicle from us you will get a 90 day free trial where the OnStar are no cost to you. Let me tell you what OnStar does for you. For example, if you get into a car accident and any of the airbags deploy, including the side airbag, it will send an immediate signal to the OnStar center to let them know you've been involved in an accident. They'll attempt to contact you through the car to make sure you're okay. If you do not respond within a reasonable amount of time, they'll dispatch emergency vehicles to come to your aid. Also, if you happen to lock your keys inside your car, they provide you with a 24-hour number. You call that number, identify yourself. Once they know it's you, they can send an immediate signal to the car to get it open, which will save you a bunch of time and money having to wait for a locksmith and having to pay a locksmith. If you have any kind of emergency, press the red button. The officer center will come on and assist you with your emergency. If you're lost or need directions, press the blue button, they'll come on and give you turn-by-turn -turn directions until you arrive at your destination. If your check engine light comes on, press the blue button and they can diagnose the vehicle remotely, tell you what's wrong with it and how to proceed to take care of it. They also have concierge service and roadside assistance. For more details, visit OnStar.com. While we're up here, let's continue up. This is your home link or universal garage door opener where you can program up to three garage doors or gates if you happen to live in a gated community. Get your map lights up here. It does, like I said before, have the uh, Bose stereo sound system. While we're up here, let's pan over the dashboard now so you can see it's in great shape without any cuts, tears, burn holes, or cracks. <clears throat> All right. Okay, we got more stuff to show you here. This is your ashtray, which doesn't even look like it's been used. Don't even a cigarette lighter in there. Uh, this pops open into a cup holder. Okay, and the center console here where you rest your elbow, you got a two tier storage, your top tier and your bottom tier. Over here is your top tier storage, bottom tier is a little bit larger, and in there you have another cigarette light adapter, you got your old wheel locks, your old wheels are with a lock, and then you get in there, you get your, uh, it's your navigation disc case, and your owner's manual with its casing and all supplemental booklets that you need for the vehicle's operation. <coughs> Alright, um. Let's pan over the passenger seating area now, so you can see it's also in great shape. I try to cover as much as I can on these videos. Sometimes I miss stuff, and that's where I, that's why I provide you with my number to call me at 305-218-5462. All right, let's move over to the center row section of the vehicle. By the way, these door panels have storage on the sides here for like maps, magazines, correspondence, and you got a bottle holder here. Alright, um, this vehicle has bucket seats in the front and another set of buckets in the middle row and you got a uh, full bench in the rear for a total of seven passengers. The rear door panels are the same as in the front, all beige with the wood trimming. This vehicle is equipped with the child lock protection. I'll show you how that works. Stick your key in there, give it a half a twist to the left and what that does is that disables this inside door handle. That's in case you got little ones and you don't want them to be able to open the door from the inside. Once you engage that, the only handle that's going to open the door is the outer handle. To re-engage for adult passengers or bigger kids, put your key in there or a screwdriver, give it a half a twist to the right, and this handle will start working again. Okay, not only are your front seats heated, but uh, your middle row buckets are also heated. That's what that button there is for. And you get another one over here. Now, the middle row passengers have a lot of controls here. They can control the fan speed where the AC flows, how cold or hot they want it. They can turn on the stereo or turn it off. They can seek forward, seek backwards. They can change the source, which remember is uh, going from AM to FM to XM. They can change the programming, which is your preset stations. And uh, they have also headphone jacks here and here. They can control the volume and the tuning. Get another cigarette light adapter here. This one's missing the cap. We've already ordered it. That takes about five, 10 minutes. So by the time you come over here, this cap should be on already. All right, uh, this pops open into a cup holder. All right, up in the top here, got a set of map lights for the middle row passengers and a set of AC vents for the middle row passengers. And same thing in the back, another set of map lights and AC vents for the rear row passengers. Okay. To get access to the rear, the little ones usually just walk in between, but for the adults to get back there, you can actually tilt the seat like I just showed you, and you don't have to do it from the front, you can do it from here. On the sides, there's a switch, which will make the seat tumble the same way as that seat over there. Alright, let's see here. 
Uh, so you got a total of seven passengers, three in the back, two in the middle, and two in the front makes a total of seven. All right, let's go around to the cargo area. By the way, all the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. You got two parking sensors on each side of the bumper. Those are the ones that we're uh, trying out before that beep when you're approaching the vehicle or object. You got a class three heavy duty towing package with the electrical connection there ready to go for all your towing needs. All right, rear wiper, rear window defroster, the little orange lines inside the glass, right rear tail light, all right, let's go ahead and open up the tailgate. Now, remember, I told you you can open the tailgate simply by, there's a switch in here that you can't see because it's on the other side. What you do is you squeeze and you back up. The vehicle clearly has to be unlocked, otherwise anybody can get inside your car. All right, so we got a full bench in the rear. This is what we call a 50-50 bench, and they're independent from each other. And there's several actions you could take with this here. For example, if you pull up on this handle here, the backrest, this backrest here will just flip down, and you can put stuff on top of it, okay? Now, if you want to put... Uh, if you want to move the seat out of the way without removing it, once you pull up on handle number one here for the backrest, then you pull up on handle number two here. And what the seat's going to do, I, I, I'm not going to demonstrate because you need to hands for that. Uh, what the seat's going to do is going to lift from the back like this and stay right up to the back of the center row buckets, okay? And that's, uh, that gives you more space without having to remove the seat. Now the third option is to remove the seat. You would pull up on handle number one, the backrest will go forward, and you grab this handle here and you pull hard and the seat will come out. And then the cool thing is you could do one side and not the other. So if you need to put a large box over here and you still need the sitting capacity on this side, you can do one side and not the other, or you can do them both. All right, this is your uh, cigarette lighter adapter here for your chargers. Nice and clean back here. No stains, no, no burn holes, no bleach spots. Let's go ahead and close it up here, come around to the passenger side. And after that, we'll probably it'll conclude the video. Got the 22-inch factory chrome wheels with Bridgestone tires. The tires are not new, but they're still in pretty good shape. They don't need to be replaced just yet. All right, right rear door panel, same way, all beige with the, uh, uh, with the wood trimming. Of course, you got the childlike protection on this side as well. I'm sure by now you notice that none of the panels have no cuts, no tears, no burn holes, no stains. None of the speaker covers are cracked. Okay, so this is how you would get into the back, right through here. Plenty of space for an adult to do it, okay? Now, uh, to put this back down, you have to do it manually. Very simple. Push down, locks down, lift up and you're back into passenger mode, okay? Now, I forgot to show you earlier, but you do have anchors on each side for your baby car seat. So if you want to place a baby car seat here or there, that's where you tie it down to. All right, let's come around to the front. <clears throat> All right, passenger uh, front door panel, same way, beige with a wood trimming. Of course, you got the same bottle holder here and storage in the sides here. Not only do we have a power seat, power recliner, and lumbar support on the driver's side, but as you can see also on the passenger side. All right. All right, uh, before we conclude this video, by the way, your main glove box is over here. And there's nothing in there because we got most everything in the, in the deep portion of the center, uh, center console. All right, before we conclude this video, I want to talk to you about financing. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even get some programs for really rough credit. If you're concerned about the financing, you live a long distance away, or you simply want us to get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net. Right on the home page, at the top of the page, you'll see a tab that says apply for credit. Click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.